Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Andy, I'm a self-taught software developer, and in today's video, I'm gonna talk to you about why you should learn C-sharp in 2019. Now, if you've never come across my channel before, if this is your first time, uh, my channel is all about becoming a software developer, going from start to finish, meaning I give you tips, advice, mindsets, beliefs, everything that you need to know to be, take yourself from where you're at now to become and get your career started as a software developer. So let's answer the question of why you should learn C Sharp in 2019. So let's first start out with talking about what it is and then we talk about why I like it so much. So C Sharp is a programming language, obviously, that is developed by Microsoft and that runs on the .NET framework. And for a very long time, the .NET framework could only be run on Windows machines. So if you've ever heard of a .NET developer, that meant that those people who were working on it were working in the Windows environment. And that was for the longest time that's the way it was. And that's because that's the way Microsoft decided to take it. So recently, actually, Microsoft has made it so that .NET is actually available on cross platforms, which is a really cool development. I think it's a great place to take the language. So now you can actually run it on Linux, Mac, Windows, it doesn't matter. Now that's called .NET Core. That's something a little bit newer. It's still a maturing thing. So it's you know still gonna take some time before it's completely adopted, but that's a pretty cool development. I think the big reason why they've made it cross-platform is because their uh, brother language or sister language, Java, is cross-platform. And that's always been the downfall of C Sharp. Now, as far as the programming language goes, it is in the C family of programming languages. So if you come up from a C background or like Objective-C or C++ or PHP or JavaScript, coming from those languages, you will transition uh, more seamlessly than other languages because the syntax is of a similar nature. When I say similar, I just mean that it's not gonna be completely alien to you uh, looking at C-sharp code, so keep that in mind. The big points to know about C-sharp if you're coming from a different background is that C-sharp is an object-oriented programming language. So uh, I'll keep this explanation short because the scope of what object-oriented means is pretty large, but I'll try to keep it simple. It's basically the paradigm of C-sharp or an object-oriented programming language is based on objects, right? So you've got little objects all over your, your code base and each object represents something in something abstract in real life. So you've got maybe in a, a real world application, something like accounts and users. And each one of these objects has two things. It has state and behavior. So properties and methods. And each one of these objects communicates with each other. It holds state. And that's one of the big paradigms that you'll run into. Now, object oriented also has certain principles like encapsulation, abstraction, uh, inheritance and polymorphism. So you've got more than that with object oriented programming and I highly recommend you look into all of those principles, including the solid principles as well, if you're going to get into this as a field and take that very seriously because you'll need to answer those questions when you get to a job interview. And to continue on with the programming language, the key things you'll need to know before you get into it uh, that will be a little bit different from your prior experience more than likely is that C Sharp is a compiled language and it's also a strongly typed language. So what is a compiled language? Well, if you're coming from a JavaScript background, let's say, uh, JavaScript is not a compiled language. It's an interpreted language, which means that, for example, if you're gonna take some JavaScript code you've written here and you're gonna run it in a browser, all you need to do is take that, that code and send it to the browser. And the browser is just gonna read through it. And if there's something wrong with it, once it runs that piece of code, it'll let you know. But if you don't run a piece of code, it's not gonna, the browser's not gonna tell you there's a problem. And that is basically, interpreted programming languages, it just gets run. Whereas C Sharp, on the other hand, when you have source code over here and you've got your machine, which is your computer, right? Your, your computer doesn't know how to read C Sharp inherently. So what you have to do is you have to have a middleman, which is a compiler, which takes your C Sharp code and converts it into something that your machine over here can read and can actually execute on. So that is going to be a little bit different of a paradigm when you're coming to it. Now, the strongly typed nature comes into play here as well because C Sharp is a strongly typed language. And what that means is that data types are strictly, they're, they're more strict than in, let's say in JavaScript. Because in JavaScript, there is, it's pretty loosey-goosey with the data types, right? For example, it allows for type coercion in JavaScript. So for example, you could do something like add an integer, you could do multiplication on an integer and add it with a string. And you think to yourself, those are two different data types, but JavaScript will actually make those two work and it will output a string with both of those values in there. So C Sharp doesn't work like that. C Sharp, if you attempt to add a integer to a string, it will 
have compile time errors, meaning when the application, or I should say the compiler goes to create the machine code, it will say, nah, -uh, this is wrong. You need to fix this. Uh, I don't know what to do with this. It doesn't try to coerce those values. So uh, data types just in general are very specific in a strongly typed language or a statically typed language. So another example would be in JavaScript, you know, you can assign, uh, let's say a string to a variable when you declare it. Well, later on, you could change that to anything. You can you know, if you reassign it with an array, you can reassign it with a Boolean, it doesn't matter. JavaScript doesn't care. But in C Sharp, it won't allow you to do that. Once you define something as a data type, that's the data type that it's expecting. So again, it's very strict. Another aspect of, the, of C Sharp in particular is just the, the syntax uh, and the strongly typed nature of it. So the syntax is gonna be more strict. Again, like in JavaScript, it will allow you to, well, it will allow you to get away with a little bit, right? Uh, for example, you don't always have to have a semicolon after your variable declarations. And that will, that's fine, it'll let you run that. And the, that can be no problem, but in C Sharp, it won't let you get away with many of these little issues. Like if you don't have a semicolon, it will have compile time errors. It will tell you that, hey, you need to go to this file, this line and fix it before you can actually compile that into machine code. So it's something that you will have to get used to if you're coming from a different background. If you're coming from a, you know, interpreted language or a loosely typed language, those will be not learning curves, but again, it will just be different. It's something that you have to get used to. So that's really what the C Sharp programming language is all about. There's certainly more to it, but that's the basic of it. Now, why should you learn it? Why do I like it so much? The first reason why I think you should learn it is because it's not going anywhere. The community is only getting stronger. The programming language is only getting stronger. It's pretty widely used. It's used in a lot of business uh, applications and that require complex business code. And so there are plenty of jobs out there for this. You're, you know, the code, it, code base isn't dying. People say, oh, this programming language is dying or that one's dying. C Sharp isn't dying, it's not going anywhere. Uh, what I really like about what Microsoft has done is they have gone from this big evil company that is all about proprietary everything and it, it's driven people nuts, especially because software developers in general tend to be, they, they really love open source. Well, Microsoft has done a 180 in the last couple of years and they've made the C Sharp compiler open source. They made the uh, .NET framework open source with .NET Core. So I feel like they are starting to care a little bit and that's a good sign. Uh, the fact that they have continued to make Visual Studio better, versions of C Sharp continue to come out with actually useful things. So they're listening to what people need and want. So I just like that about the programming language. That means it's only gonna get more adopted and businesses are going to continue to use it and that for you as a developer it's going to be a, a skill that's in need always now what i also love about c sharp is the dynamic and flexible nature of it so it's you're not just gonna be stuck building you know desktop applications or something that's one use you could have for it you can also build web applications so i've specifically used it to work on web applications i usually work in the back end and serve some sort of api but you can actually go full full stack pretty much for the whole part. Like you can create a, a backend with it and then also have an ASP.NET MVC serve up an MVC front end framework. So it's full fledged. You can also do mobile development. You can do game development with the Unity framework, which is awesome and really cool, which by the way, I've never done. I really want to get into it as a hobby for fun because I, I just got some VR goggles. So I was like, why not? Why not just start messing around? It's a good opportunity to do it. So I love that it's flexible and you can do a wide range of things with it. So that's really valuable to me. Now, as far as coding every day in it, like why do I like it so much? So I love JavaScript when I first learned it. I still enjoy it quite a bit. The difference of C Sharp and its strongly taped nature is that it catches a lot of errors that happen before you send your code to the browser, let's say, before your JavaScript gets run. And I really like that because there are so, I mean, so many times with JavaScript that I've run into problems with capitalization issues or just fat fingering or misspelling a variable name that will cause me massive headaches. So I like that C Sharp is a little more strict in its rules and syntax, so those, those errors get caught early on. Doesn't mean that it prevents all errors. There are certainly plenty of runtime errors, so when the code gets compiled and run, there's still plenty of them, but it eliminates a lot. And just to kind of give you a story of why I tried, uh, a time when I actually tried to build my own company, which I'll link to a video here. I originally started with the JavaScript backend, so it was basically Node, a Node backend. It served an API through Express, and I was really, interested in building everything of complex business application with JavaScript. I ended up building about two months in working really hard on it and just ended up moving over to .NET because I was finding that I was having so many 
issues when I would go to run the code. I would I had fully unit tested everything, but in terms of actually getting the code to reliably run and not have all these tiny little errors that were taking me hours to figure out. Instead, when I moved to .NET, because of its you know compiled and strongly typed nature, I found that it was just easier to spot errors early on. I built it the app more quickly, and everything was more like I just trusted that it was going to do what I intended the code to do. So there's just a lot more trust there. And I think that's a big reason why companies like strongly typed programming languages because it allows less wiggle room for flexibility. Like flexibility can be good, but not in a business setting where you need kind of hard and fast rules where you have lots of developers. It sort of enforces a standard of strictness. So that's why I like C Sharp. I, I really think you should learn it at some point in your career or if you're just starting out, it can be really valuable for you to learn. There's lots of opportunity with it. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please leave a like below. And also just to let you know, if you're interested in becoming a software developer and you're one of those people who is highly committed, very serious about your uh, changing careers and changing your life, I am running a mastermind program for the select few people who are super dedicated and are really motivated to get uh, to change their careers and change their life. So if you're interested in joining the program, go ahead and book a call with me by going to andysterkwitz.com forward slash call where we'll have a basic strategy session where we'll talk about what your biggest issue is right now, where you wanna take your career, and based on that, we'll see if it's a good fit, if the mastermind program is a good fit, we'll talk about what that next step is. So I highly recommend booking that now. Spots fill up quickly every single week, so go do it now, don't waste your time. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button before you head out of here, and uh, yeah, that's all I got. Take it easy, take care, and peace out.